I talk about spirituality as a dimension of who we are. Each of us is made of multiple dimensions. You know, we each have a body, so that's our physical dimension. We have emotions, we have a mind, those are other dimensions. And we also have this spirituality piece, this spiritual dimension. Now, we become aware of that spiritual dimension in, in ways that are unique for each of us. I talk about that in terms of creating, discovering, or encountering something about spirituality. That it's that process of creating, discovering, or encountering that makes us aware of where spirituality is in our life, what that spiritual dimension is all about. Now, what do I mean by those words? Well, think for a moment about a person who regularly prays or meditates or is involved in a religious group or a meditation group or something like that. They're doing some intentional things for a purpose. Perhaps that purpose is wanting to achieve a certain kind of closeness or intimacy with God. Maybe it's to find peace or an experience of wholeness, whatever it may be. They're doing something to create something about the spiritual dimension. They do it with an intention, and that intention is to create something for themselves. So that's what I mean by creating. Discovering, well, perhaps you've learned some things, you've discovered some things about spirituality by watching Spirituality Beyond Borders, or you have some friends who have told you some things about the groups they attend or the things they do, or maybe you've read or seen things on news groups or whatever it may be. And as you discover things, as you encounter things, you, you begin to wonder more and wonder what that may have to do with your life. And it brings a certain awareness that you've discovered uh, from some particular sources. Or perhaps you're walking down the street one day, just doing whatever it is you're doing, and you see some beautiful flowers in a planter. And it causes you to think about the beauty in life. Or, or maybe you're driving home after a long day. And even though you're stuck in rush hour traffic, you look out on the horizon and see the beauty of the sunset beginning. And it gives you a sense of awe. Those are ways in which we encounter something that draws us out of ourself into this dimension of spirituality. It's an encounter that we have while we're going about our business, doing our ordinary life. So there are ways in which we create, discover, and encounter things about spirituality. In my early 40s, I did a lot of encountering. I was in that midlife transition. Uh, you know, some people call it a crisis. I think for some people it is a crisis, but for most people, it's pretty much a transition. It's the experience of, well, like an internal clock going off. And you realize, you know, I've, I've lived about 40 some years. And this is what I've done with my life. Some of it was what I hoped for, some of it wasn't. And I probably have just as much life to live, at least on average, statistically. So what do I want the next 40 years to be about? Because, you know, the first 40 went really fast. And it's in that transition that we begin to evaluate where our lives are and what we've been doing. And, and we may take some new directions. We may refine some other things. For me, part of this process was a process of refinement. Now, I had really, you know, had spirituality and spiritual practice as part of my life before this. But in that midlife transition, I came to an awareness that what was important for me was to really go deeper, to not be so focused on projects and things that I was doing, but to really step back and focus more simply on being. Now, it's not that I wasn't productive after 40. I've, I've still been very busy. But I think I've moved into a different direction and, and worked differently, worked more from my center, my core. And, and how that happened was in that, 
that midlife transition. I was living in Tucson, Arizona, and in that space, I really had the opportunity to go deeper and to consider more about what was happening for me. And as I did that, I was writing essays. I wrote essays to reflect on different experiences that were happening for me. You know, reflecting on going for walks in different parks around Tucson, going for hikes in the mountains, <clears throat> excuse me, going for a walk around a labyrinth or going to a monastery and chanting at the monastery or sitting in a meditation group, all kinds of different things that I did and reflecting on them. And I, after about two years, I saw I had a lot of essays that I had written. And so I collected those essays together in this book, Stumbling into Life's Lessons, the Reflections on the Spiritual Journey. And in this book, I, I really reflect on my experience of day-to-day -day spirituality and ways in which I was finding that I was relearning familiar lessons and going deeper along the way. Now, part of it, too, was living in a desert environment. That isn't where I grew up. It was new for me. And it was really a contrast because I moved there from Miami, living at the beach, and went into the desert. Uh, and so that was a real change. And it caused me to really reflect more on the interdependence of things that grow in the desert and what that means for the interdependence of our lives. Stumbling into Life's Lessons isn't a book that you pick up and read from cover to cover. The essays are short. They're two or three pages each. But they're essays that will help you reflect on where spirituality is in your life. And you'll hear from my stories and experiences something of your life through the stories. You'll think, find things that may be helpful for you, as well as things that you'll read about and you'll think, that's really just not me. Uh, and that's good. That's a good thing to be able to differentiate and find yourself and to define what spirituality will mean for you. I really encourage you to consider buying this book because I think it will be helpful to go deeper in spirituality in the way in which I've been talking about in the other videos. Uh, to do that in a way that nurtures your own life and helps you define meaning and purpose and value in life. Stumbling into Life's Lessons can be ordered from any place you typically get your books. Uh, in a regular bookstore, will probably be a special order. Uh, but it's available. And I really appreciate your time. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Like the video, share the video, click that bell so you're notified of other videos, and leave me some comments about your own reflections about what it means to grow in the awareness of the spiritual dimension of your life and some things that may have been helpful for you. Thanks. Know that I really appreciate your time.